Hello guys, welcome to you. In this video, we are going to see how to fix USB printer is not detected in Windows 10 PC or laptop. It is a very simple error and I give the multiple solution to fix this issue. Our first solution is printer spooler. Second solution is install our printer. Third solution is update printer driver. And fourth solution is troubleshooter. And we are going to one by one to our all method and I hope one of these methods work for you. So let's go to our video. Our first and basic solution is very simple. Go to the start. Type services. Click on the services. In services we find many options. Here find print spooler. So select print spooler from this all list. Right click on it. Click on the properties. In properties here we find startup type. Make sure startup type is always automatic. Click on automatic. And service status is stopped. We want to online. We want this type is online. So click on the apply. Click on here start button. Start button is now visible or clickable. Click at here. Wait for a few seconds to start. And here we find service status is running. Service status is running is very IMP. And startup type is automatic is very IMP. Click on OK. Now go to the principal once again. Select principal. Click on restart. Click on restart. It's restart your print spooler in a few seconds. Here we find print spooler. It is running and it is automatic. It is a very IMP. Close this and restart your machine and it solve your problem. After restart, check our printer is properly working or not. If it's not working, then go to the, our second method. Our second method is install our printer driver or install our printer. That is very easy and simple. First, we check our machine, our Windows 10 32 bit or 64 bit that is very easy to check our PC or laptop 32 bit or 64 bit go to the this PC right click on the this PC click on the properties in properties here we find system type if system type is 32 bit that means that machine is 32 bit if system type is 64 bit that means that machine is 64 bit this machine is 64 bit operating system machine close it next step is download the our printer driver there are many types of printers in the world and we, I show you how to download the, your printer driver properly. I go to the Google Chrome. You can go to the any web browser that you want. And here in a search, I type HP. I want to download the HP printer driver. Then I go to the HP printer driver in a search. If I want to Ipsen, so I type Ipsen printer driver. If Canon, then Canon printer driver. And if brother, then type brother printer driver. In my case, I first show you HP printer driver, then Ipsen, then Canon. First, I go to the HP printer driver, search for the HP printer driver and hit enter key on our keyboard. Go to the first link, open the first link. It's go to the support and here type your printer number, printer model number. Whatever your printer model number is, number is type at here. If HP LaserJet 1010, then type 1010, 1060, then type that number. In my case, I type 4630. And in few seconds, it show my model number and the link for that driver. Click at here and it's redirect you to the printer drivers. Here, go to the here. If it's not detect your operating system right, then go to the here and select your operating system. Windows, then Windows. If Windows 10 64 bit, then Windows 10 64 bit. Windows 10 32 bit, then go to the Windows 10 32 bit. In my case, I go to the Windows 10 64 bit, click on the update. And after that, this page go to the refresh and download these drivers from here. Okay. This is for the HP. For the Ipsen, same thing. Go to the here, Ipsen and type Ipsen printer driver. Hit enter key on your keyboard. Go to the first link. And here we find Ipsen support, printer support. Scroll down and type whatever your printer model number is L3130 or any other, then type your Ipsen model number at this point and click on the link in this case this is the l31 l13 click at here and here we find our printer drivers select from here windows 7 windows 32 bit then 32 bit windows 64 bit then 64 bit click on go button and download the your printer driver for canon driver i want to give an example how to install any printer so i install my canon printer in my in, in this video, so I go to the Canon printer driver and type Canon printer driver and hit enter key on my keyboard. First link is from the Canon. Open the first link. Canon official website is open. There are many ways to download these drivers 
on the cannot by keywords you can add keywords and search for the our printer driver i prefer to go to the by product i go to the by product in a by product you can select range you can select category and select product types but best way is to add your model number or the printer name at this point so i add my printer model number 2900 and it show laser shot lbp 2900 this is the my printer and this printer includes one one another printer 2900p so i click at here and it's automatically redirect to the drivers of the my printer here we find our printer model number and here we find drivers go to the here and here select your printer operating pc or laptop operating system windows 10 64 bit then go to the 64 bit windows 10 32 bit then go to the plain windows 10 and click on the search and go with the first link click on the first link it is always driver link click on the download and download is started and go to the here downloads click on show in a folder and drag this setup file to desktop for example i i am downloading the this printer you can download any printer that you want and this setup file is a actually g file there are two ways or multiple ways to install this printer first way is double click on this printer uh, setup file or the printer driver setup file and install it but second way is more reliable and more interesting and more reliable way to install this printer on the windows 10 so i go to the second way this printer driver or the printer driver setup file is a actually g file and we are going to unzip this g file right click on it click on extract files click on the ok here you find newly created folder newly extracted folder double click on it and this folder contain our printer driver file basically there are many folders in these files and we have to find dot inf file in this entire files in canon canon printer it is in x64 for the 64 bit and in 32 bit it is in x32 bit double click on it double click on the drivers here is the our drivers close it so we are going to install these drivers go to the start type printers and scanners click on the printers and scanners click on the add a printer or scanner click on add a printer or scanner wait for a few seconds new option is pop up in a few seconds new option is pop up the printer that i want isn't listed click at here close it here we find many options in a add a printer go to the last option add a local printer or network printer with manual settings go to the last options click on the next here we find existing port click at here and if you find any usb port usb 001 usb 002 usb 003 usb 004 select any usb port that you find click on the next here we find have a disk go to the have a disk go to the browse go to the desktop our drivers are on the desktop go to the desktop go to the our newly extracted folder double click on it and from this file all files find dot inf file this is a single file or multiple files if multiple files click on any file that you want double click on this folder in my case double click on it and here we find this single dot inf file i select that and click on the open click on ok in many printers there are series printer then it shows series and if you find multiple printers then select your proper printer in this case i select canon lbp2900 click on the next in a printer name you can give any name that you want i go with the same name i click on the next wait for a few seconds or few minutes depending on the size of your printers after that if you want to share this printer on the network then select last option i don't want so i select do not share this printer click on the next if you want to set up default printer then click on set up default printer if you want to print a test page then click on a printer test page or click on finish next step is check our printer is properly working or not or properly installed or not go to the start and type printers and scanners click on the printers and scanners and here we find canon lbp2900 that means your printer is properly installed next step is if your printer is installed but not working then we are going to update our printer to the latest printer drivers that is the goal for this step first go to the start right click on the start and here we find device manager click on the device manager device manager is open in device manager go to the print here we find print expand print in print we find our printer go to the, your not working printer in this case this is the my not working printer select your not working printer right click on it 
click on the update drivers here we find two options go to the browse my computer for drivers select that here we find let me pick for a latest available driver on my computer click at here and here we find our drivers list don't go to the here we are going to have a disk we already download the our latest driver so go to the have a disk go to the browse go to the desktop go to our newly created folder double click on it find our dot inf file from this list double click on it double click on it here we i find my dot inf file double click on it click on okay select the our printer name click on next wait for a few seconds close it our printer drivers is properly installed now close it next and last step is troubleshooter go to the here start and type troubleshooter troubleshoot settings type troubleshoot settings click on troubleshoot settings in troubleshoot settings find additional troubleshooters click on additional troubleshooters here we find printer click on the printer run the troubleshooter minimize it wait for a few seconds it detect your problem if it's fixed problem then it's go to the apply to fix if it's not fixed problem it's give us suggestion to fix this problem i select my problematic printer click on the next and not giving any suggestion to fix this if you give any suggestion then click on apply this fix my printer is properly working so not showing me any suggestion so guys thank you for watching this video and i hope your problem is solved so guys thank you for watching this video don't forget to like share comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you guys